Matthew here from miniwargaming.com. This is part two of an open letter to Games Workshop. I want to, in this video, first reply to some of the comments that were put on the first one. And second off, I want to address something else that I kind of forgot to talk about in the first video. Believe it or not, after that 20 minutes, I still had one more thing I wanted to talk about. Um, and I wanted to almost, I wanted to invite you guys as well too, to help us out, to be able to show Games Workshop, and not only Games Workshop, but all the other manufacturing companies out there as well, just how important the internet is to their business. So I've got first off some survey results here that I'm going to go over. That was the part that I mainly missed. I ran a survey a while back asking the question, did we, miniwargaming.com, get you into one of the tabletop games? Uh, meaning like you didn't play 40K, but then you watched our videos and now you play 40K. Um, or maybe you played 40K, but then you watched our videos and now you play fantasy or some other game. So that's what we wanted to know. Did we get people in? And the reason we were asking this question is because we wanted to basically answer the question, are we just freeloading off of the efforts of the local stores and games workshop, or are we actually contributing to the hobby? And uh, the answer to that question is we are definitely contributing to the hobby, which I'm sure you would have already guessed that with all our videos and everything that we do. And so we're not just skimming sales off of retailers. We're actually putting sales back out there. And I'm going to go over this, the results in a moment. First off, I want to reply to a few comments. First off, you'll notice that the background's a little different. It's not a war machine wall. I wasn't doing that for any particular reason, except that it's just the easiest angle to quickly set up. Um, so Games Workshop products. There's also Flames of War products, but this is the best wall to show mostly Games Workshop products and still have a good angle and not have a window in the background where you'll just get all that glare. Unfortunately, you see how there's a window over there so you can see the reflection off my glasses. Whereas where I was standing before, you don't get that. So that's why we stood there, but I've changed it. I've even moved some gaming tables around just to prove that I wasn't trying to make a point by being in front of a war machine wall. Um, second off, a lot of you asked for me to get a tripod. And uh, we usually do use a tripod, but normally I find that it's more interesting if somebody's holding the camera. But for some reason, the person that was holding the camera was a lot more shaky than normal. So I apologize for that. I didn't realize it until I was editing the video, and at that point, I didn't want to go back and redo the whole thing. So, I'm sorry. But this time we got a tripod, so no shakiness. It'll just be me moving around as I talk. So, that's the main comments I wanted to reply to. A lot, we've gotten tons of feedback. I think we're just about at 25,000 views of this video over the weekend, which is tremendous. Just, I want to thank everybody who's posted the video. We've had it posted on lots of sites. Uh, I don't even know how many because um, there's a few big sites, like I want to thank Beasts of War for posting it. They, that was really awesome to them. Uh, and there's lots of other sites as well. Beasts of War has gotten a lot of them. People have been posting on forums like Daka Daka. I, I want to thank the owners of Daka Daka for allowing people to discuss it. There was another forum where somebody tried to post it and it got removed uh, because they called it advertising. But, you know, that's up to each individual site owner. And I'm not going to try to say that they're doing a good job or a bad job because it's really up to them how they run their site and if, whether they want to support this or not. So it, just go easy on them and don't, don't insult websites that don't want to put this video up because obviously it's their choice. But we've gotten tons of uh, views because of you putting on other websites. We've got tons of comments. It's quickly becoming our number one commented video. Uh, right now the number one is the initial fine cast review that we did, but this one is going to quickly beat that. And so we've had tremendous results, and it seems that most of you agree with what I'm saying. A lot of you don't think it's going to make a difference, which, to be honest, I don't really know if it's going to make a difference either. But it might make a difference in a small way, that uh, the more we kind of talk about it and the more it gets out there, then the more it'll influence Games Workshop's decisions. It can't help but influence it. Somebody's got to see it, and it's got to change a bit of the way they think about stuff. Um, whether they make any changes because of it, I don't know. And that's really up to Games Workshop to decide what to do. But it's time that these things are said, and that they're said in a way that a lot of people will hear it, and that a lot of people can kind of cast their voice in and, and comment on it. And that is why I created this video. So if you still want to support this open letter, don't, po don't post this video. Post the first video on your website. We want to get that one with lots of views, because that one will have an annotation to this video, so it'll help this one. So we want to concentrate all the efforts on the one video to get it lots of views. And like I said with the other one, there's not going to be any advertising on this video. So the point is purely to educate and show how websites in general are helping the market. So let me quickly uh, share the results of the survey. And just below this, there will be a link to this survey that I conducted and also a link to a new survey that I want you to participate in. I need you to participate in in order to really lend your support, not to Mini Wargaming, but 
to websites in general that have gotten you into wargaming. So we sent up the survey and we had about 3,900 people reply. And out of the 3,900 people, they were asked the question, did we, Mini Wargaming, our YouTube channel or our forums, get you into one or more miniature war games? Now out of the 3,900 that answered the survey, over 2,000 said yes, and 1,800 said no. Now this is not, I don't think this is statistically representative of all the people that come to our website, because the question that when we sent them to the survey was, did we get you into wargaming, please answer the survey to let us know. So clearly those that we definitely got into wargaming are going to be more prone to answer the survey than those we did not. So I'm not trying to say that 52.2% of all the people who come to our site, we got into wargaming in that case we'd be saying that we're getting over 5,000 people, no, 50,000 people um, a month into wargaming, which I don't believe. That seems a little, a little crazy. So I'm not trying to say that. I'm just trying to say that we've gotten at least 2,047 people into wargaming. Now, the reason I want to bring that up is because one of the accusations or, or thoughts that um, Games Workshop and other companies might have of online stores is that all they do is they, they go out and they take customers away from local retailers who got people into 40K. So for example, you have a local retailer who goes and they have everything set up. Somebody comes in, they introduce them to Warhammer 40K or another game, and that person's online later and sees that they can get it cheaper online, and so they buy it online. So the local retailer did the work, but some online retailer reaps the benefits. And let's say that that's all there was too. Let's say that we weren't making videos or anything else. Is that a bad thing? It's hard to say. It's hard to say. I know Games Workshop will look at it and say, yes, it's a bad thing. But the problem is, they also have their own website. And sure, they don't offer a discount, but they do have the full range of miniatures. And so they, the person can go into the store and maybe find some miniatures, or they can go online and definitely find what they're looking for. And half the time they offer free shipping on orders over like 25 bucks and all this other stuff. So essentially they're doing the same thing, just without offering a discount on the products, whereas other online stores to offer a discount off of the normal retail. So let's just put that all by itself and forget about our videos. And I would still disagree that all online retailers do is skim away customers. I think that they also support the hobby by allowing people to have more access to the hobby as well. A lot of people aren't even near retailers, and so the online is the only way that they can do it. So they, and so the online retailers contribute to that as well. But let's put that aside, and now we see the survey and the survey says that we've gotten, out of the 3,000, or out of the 4,000 people that replied, we've gotten over 2,000 people into wargaming. Now I can tell you right now that, if that even if we just expand that a little bit, that there are definitely not that many customers that we have. Now we have, over the past few years, accumulated thousands of customers. But we have not accumulated the same number of customers as have we have gotten into wargaming. We've run this survey before, we ran it a couple of years ago, and we got around 1,500 results. And at that point, we had only 500 customers. And so let's say all 500 customers, we got into wargaming. Okay, let's say that. That means that out of the 1,500 that we got into wargaming, 500 buy from us. Well, what about the other 1,000? Where did they go? They went to local stores, a Games Workshop, and maybe even Games Workshop's online website to buy the miniatures. So we, Okay, now, now let's take the other extreme and say that all of our customers, we didn't get any of them into wargaming, that we skimmed them all away from online or from local retailers. Well, that means we skimmed away 500 customers from people who worked hard to get them, and then we gave out 1,500 customers. Because if they're not buying from us, they're buying somewhere else. And so we've added more than we've taken away. And that is with Mini Wargaming being both a store and a site that makes videos. Now imagine the sites that don't have a store. Let's think, I'm not, I'm not going to try to name them all because I would worry that I'd offend people by not naming them. But just think about your favorite website that talks about Warhammer, War Machine, and all the other games. And think about it. A lot of them, the way that they profit from doing it is by having advertising. But they, gen they create all these new customers, and those customers then go to local retailers, to Games Workshop, and to Games Workshop's online store. So. When we talk about the way that Games Workshop treats websites, and especially online retailers, you can see that it's a little backwards. So what I need your help with now is we have a new survey that you can go, there's a link below, it's miniwargaming.com slash survey, easy to remember. And this one broadens it. It's no longer did miniwargaming.com get you into wargaming, it's did any website get you into wargaming. And you get to actually pick which website got you into each wargame. For example, if you're on Bell of Lost Souls and they got you into Warhammer 40k, 
On the survey, there is all the different games, all the major ones, and you can buy Warhammer 40K, say Bell of Lost Souls got me into it. And if Mini Wargaming got you into War Machine, then beside War Machine, you could put Mini Wargaming. And um, if nobody, if no website got you into a game, if it was a store, then you would just put no website. Um, and if, you can even put Games Workshop's website, that is on the list. And if the, the website that got you into it is not on the list, you can add it to the list. So there's a way to include all the websites. So if we can get thousands of people answering this, then for one thing, it'll show all the different websites that are contributing to the hobby. Now the only way, now I want to make this clear, when you answer this survey, only say that a website got you into the hobby if it really got you into it or back into it. And what that means is you weren't playing it at all and they got you into it. So you've never, you've never played 40K before, you visited warseer.com and by um, poking around at their articles and the stuff on their forums, that got you into 40K and so you started playing it, then that's Warseer. If you were already playing 40K and you went to Warseer and they got you to play it more, they didn't get you into it. So you don't put their, don't put their name, don't put anybody for that matter unless the first person who got you into it. Now, if you played 40K before and stopped, and then because you watched videos on a website or read articles, you got back into it, then put that website. So essentially what we're trying to show is the number of customers that websites have created, whether they are returning customers or brand new customers. So it's important that if, if no website got you into um, any war games, then don't bother answering the survey. Like you could go and answer it and just put no websites for all of them. And that you could do that fine. That, that's, that's perfectly fine. I'm not looking for a percentage. I'm looking for a hard number. So we can show that thousands and thousands, hopefully tens of thousands of people will answer this survey. So we can really show it. And you can see the published results right now at this moment of me making the video. It just shows you um, hard numbers. But I'm eventually going to expand that survey results so you can see each individual website and how many people that got into each of the games. So you can see if you own a website, for example, how much you're contributing uh, according to the survey. Now I realize that we'll probably be number one because obviously we're talking to people who already come to our website. So not everybody at all the other websites are going to hear about the survey. Um, if you want to help spread the word, once again, this, this survey, there's no money being made. I don't offer any coupons at the end. I don't do any advertising on the survey. It's just, it's just a, a, a straightforward survey. Then you can go and tell your friends, get support, give them the link, miniwargaming.com slash survey. Or you can give them the link to this video so they can have it explained first. So that's what I want to do. I wanted to reply. I want to thank everybody who supported this. It's been tremendous. I realize that a lot of people think that it's not going to make a difference. And I'm not quite sure if it will either. But we can definitely lend our voice so that we can help gaming companies like Games Workshop know what we think. We know that there are big companies out there that listen to their customers. We know that. You can see that in the, the, the computer gaming industry. The really good companies often reply or respond in, uh, in what they do to what customers are saying everywhere. So we know big companies can listen. So don't lose faith. Don't think that Games Workshop is going to go out of business. They can listen. They can change. And they can start really supporting the, the, the online aspect of the hobby even more. So this is Matthew from Mini Wargaming. Happy Wargaming.